ladies and gentlemen, boys and ghouls. It's time for below grade level. It's time for the fright of your life. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Below Grade Level, the show where we take the books that we read as children and read them as adults and ruin them. I am one of your hosts, Jonathan Eaton, and with me as always on this episode will be Chris Zaleski and Becca Eaton. Uh, this is Monster Blood Part 2, Goosebumps, Goosebumps number 3, colon, Monster Blood, <laughs> colon, Part 2. So this will be um, the second third of the Monster Book, uh, Mon- Monster Blood book, oof. That one's a mouthful. Once again, I don't have the chapters in front of me, but if you're listening to this, you know which chapters we're reading this episode. Uh, Our guests... Oh, just one guest. Our guest on this episode is Sarah Marshall. And if I remember correctly, to give a little bit of context, that's probably not even there, so it doesn't matter. But, uh, you know, as you know, these legacy episodes are part of an old podcast that we did where we would uh, close out each episode by reading a part of a, you know, like a chapter or two from a book. And, um... We did a contest at one point called Give Us Goosebumps, because at the time we were only reading Goosebumps. We did a contest where people could write their little short Goosebumps story and send it in. And uh, and whoever won... <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I think, I think whoever won got to go see John Fogarty with us. <laughs> we went to a John Fogarty concert. So anyway... Sarah Marshall, our friend, wrote an amazing story and then won. And I think she I think she just gave up the tickets. I think she was like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so we took our other friend, uh, Jeff Merkins, who was on the last episode. Uh, we took him with us. And he had never heard of John Fogarty, and he did not know. <laughs> he didn't know who, who Creedence Clearwater Revival was. So it's just like we dragged, we dragged a friend to a concert, uh, like a, almost against their will, and he was just there. He was like, "I'm just happy to be here with you guys," and we're, we're just like, "He's playing Fortunate Son," and it's for Goosebumps. None of it makes sense. All right, so just deal with it. Sarah Marshall's our guest on this episode. Uh, she's great. Yeah, Monster Blood. So what happened last time on Monster Blood? Well, to recap part one, our main character is Evan, and he's staying with his Aunt Catherine against his will. His mom sent him to stay there. Uh, She's deaf. He thinks that she's a witch. He's really bummed about being there. His dog is named Traeger. Obviously, there's a shitty dog because there's a shitty dog in every single R.L. Stein book. Um, He meets uh, a girl named Andy. They go to a creepy old store where they find Monster Blood. He buys the Monster Blood. I like cards on the table. If I went to like a weird old store and there was like an old can and it said Monster Blood, I'd fucking buy that. Are you kidding me? I'd buy two. If there was one, I would buy one. I'm definitely the guy from like I'm Seymour from Little Shop of Horrors. If I see like what is clearly an alien plant that's gonna kill me later, but like it's cool, like I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. And the old Chinese man sold it to me anyway for a dollar ninety-five. Anyway, Evan buys the monster blood and the dog eats it. Trigger eats it. Uh-oh. So find out what happens next on this episode. Once again, content warning. I'm very, very sorry, but me and Chris do uh, a deaf person voice. Uh, it's not funny. It's uh, If you listened to the last episode, you heard my whole uh, apology and spiel about doing this voice. It's just like, it's just... Ah, God, I wish I could, you know, I guess I could, like, edit it out. That would, it would mean, like, it would be very, no, I can't, I can't edit it out. It would, it's too much, like, it's part of the book. I'm reading the book. I'm just reading the book in, like, a shitty voice. Uh, it's not cool, it's offensive. And let's, uh, take a listen to this next part of Monster Blood. See you next time. Chapter 9. Are we gonna take... <laughs> For the listener at home, uh, we read Goosebumps, <laughs> if you haven't heard before. Oh, yeah. And uh, we do voices, we and we each do a page, and then we hand it to the next person. Mm-hmm. And we think it's a lot of fun. We think it's great. Are we going to bake that pie today? Evan asked his aunt, writing the question on a pad of lined yellow paper he had found on the desk in his room. But she Ka- couldn't read. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine read the question while adjusting her black ponytail. Her face was as white as cake flour in the morning sunlight. Excuse me. 
filtering through the kitchen window. Hey, what pay? She replied coldly. Evan's mouth dropped open. He decided not to remind her, or what? us, the reader, <laughs> because we definitely don't remember anything about a pie. <laughs> I think when he first got there, she did she say something, something about, about pie? a pie? Boy. Wow, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Because I had no idea what was happening. Go play with your friend, Catherine said, still <laughs> still coldly, petting Sarah Beth's head as the black cat the walked black cat. by the breakfast table. Why you want to day inside with the old witch? She called herself a witch again. It was three days later. Evan had tried to be friendly with his aunt, but the more he tried, the colder she had become, like a bitch. She's mean. She's really mean, he thought, as he ate the last... That wasn't mean. <laughs> as he ate the last spoonful of cereal... He's used to being coddled. ...from his bowl of shredded wheat. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only cereal she had. Ugh. Evan struggled to choke it down every morning. What a bitch. <laughs> even even with milk, the cereal was so dry, and she wouldn't even let him put sugar in it. <laughs> no, it got his... Life is hard when you're a child. It's like razor blades. <laughs> This is my 9-11. <laughs> this is my 9-11. <laughs> Looks like it might rain, Catherine said, and took a long sip of the strong tea she had brewed. Her, her teeth clicked noisily as she drank because she drinks by chewing. That's creepy. Like Ev a skeleton? Yep. Evan turned his eyes to the bright sunlight outside the window. What made her think it was going to rain? He glanced back at her, seated across from him at the small kitchen table. Deaf For people are attuned to the weather. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time, he noticed the pendant around her neck. It was cream-colored and sort of bone-shaped. It is a bone, oh Evan decided. <laughs> <laughs> it's bone-shaped, oh, like yeah. a bone. <laughs> oh, he man. stared hard at it, trying to decide if it was a real bone from some animal, maybe, or a bone carved out of ivory, which is bone! <laughs> Elephant bone. <laughs> Catching his stare, Catherine reached up at the large hand, or with a large hand, and tucked the pendant inside her blouse. Go see your girlfriend. She's a pretty one, Catherine said. She took another long sip of tea, again clicking her teeth as she swallowed. I That's can't weird. even she imagine what that tea? would sound like. I want one. <laughs> um, she chews her tea? Yes, please. Yes. She chews her teeth. <laughs> Yes, I've got to get out of here, Evan thought. He pushed his chair back, stood up, and carried his bowl to the sink. I can't take much more of this, Evan thought miserably. She hates me. She really does. He hurried up the stairs to his room where he brushed his curly red hair. Ew, I didn't know he was a ginger this whole uh, time. Gross. Are you just telling us now? <laughs> Staring into the mirror, he thought of the call he had received from his mother the night before. Send. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she had called right after dinner, and he could tell immediately from her voice that things weren't going well down in Atlanta. How's it going, Mom? He asked, so happy to hear her voice, even though she was nearly a thousand miles away. Slowly, his mother had replied hesitantly. What do you mean? How's Dad? Did you find a house? The questions seemed to pour out of him like air escaping a balloon. Wow, that's such good writing. Oh, I wish we had our, our whoopee cushion. <laughs> My favorite thing about this picture is uh, Mr. Sprinkles. Oh, Blair. yay. Whoa, slow down, Mrs. Ross had replied. She sounded tired. We're both fine, but it's taking a little longer to find a house than we thought. We just haven't found anything we like. Does that mean... Evan started... We found one really nice house, very big, very pretty, his mother interrupted. But the school you go to wasn't very good. Oh, that's okay. I don't have to go to school, Evan joked, uh, because he's fucking hilarious. Oh, man. <laughs> he could hear his father saying something in the background. Is that the kid? <laughs> <laughs> his mother covered the receiver to reply, yes, I don't like him either. <laughs> when are you coming to pick me up? Evan asked eagerly. It took his mother a while to answer. Well... That's the problem, she said finally. We don't want you. <laughs> That's not what it says. We yes, may need a few more days down here than we thought. How's it going up there, Evan? Are you okay? Hearing the bad news that he'd have to stay even longer with Catherine had made Evan feel like screaming and kicking the wall. Ugh, but he didn't want to upset his mother. 
Because she would hit him. <laughs> he told <You're> natural. her. <laughs> he told her he was fine and that he'd made a new friend. His father had taken the phone and offered a few encouraging words. Hang in there. <laughs> <Air rubber. laughs> he had said just before ending the conversation click <laughs> hang in there click <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging in Evan had thought glumly but hearing his parents voices had made him even more homesick now that it was the next morning putting down his hairbrush <laughs> what <laughs> Putting oh down God. his hairbrush, what like all young boys do, like, and he has curly hair. <laughs> he examined himself quickly in the dresser mirror. He was wearing denim cutoffs. Oh, nice! Yes. I and, still do. And a red Gap T-shirt because tucked in. The brand is very important, children. <laughs> I love that literally halfway into this book, he's now describing the main character. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we're on page we're like, 46, we're on everyone. Page, we're on page 46. We're like, ooh, ginger? <laughs> <laughs> red t-shirt with red and, hair? Oh, my God. Really yeah. That's going to clash so badly. <laughs> Downstairs, he hurried through the kitchen where Catherine appeared to be arguing with Sarah Beth, ran out the back door, then jogged to the backyard to get Trigger. Hey, Trigger! But the dog was asleep, lying on his side in the center of his run, gently snoring. Filled with monster blood. <laughs> <laughs> monster Don't you want to go to Andy's inside. house? Evan asked quietly. Thanks for the information. Trigger stirred, but didn't open his eyes. Okay, see you later, Evan said. He made sure Trigger's water bowl was filled, then headed to the front of the house, because he didn't really give a shit about that dog. <laughs> <laughs> he was halfway down the next block, walking slowly, thinking about his parents so oh my far God. away. <laughs> no one... Atlanta. <sighs> when a boy's voice called. Andy? Hey! A new character? Yep. Hey! You! Oh, shit. Wait. To your right. Hey, you. And two boys stepped onto the sidewalk in front of him, blocking his way. Startled. Oh. I hope they're not bullies. Evan stared from one boy to the other. They were twins. Identical twins. Ah, oh, they're the twins. worst. Twins! Both were big, beefy guys with short... White blonde hair and round red faces. Do you relate to them, Becca? They were twins. <laughs> yes, As I, big and beefy I, twins. <laughs> they, I, I get can where these feel guys their are coming souls. From. <laughs> they were do you both have like a psychic link with them. I do. I, all twins. We're on a network. <laughs> on a network. <laughs> you guys are on T-Mobile too. Uh, <laughs> they, they were both wearing dark T-shirts with the names of heavy metal bands on the front. Which like bands? Iron Maiden. Heavy metal bands that Iron I Maiden. didn't research while I was. Pick another one. Iron Maiden and Pantera. Pantera. <laughs> hey, you're <laughs> one of the twins. That's hey. why I said. <laughs> Baggy shorts and high top sneakers, untied without socks. Well, those are just gonna fall I'm, right off your feet. I These wouldn't are do clearly that. Clearly bad influence. <laughs> oh, I children. wouldn't do that. Evan guessed that they were about fourteen or fifteen. <clears throat> Hold on, sidebar. Yeah, okay. It's like, when I was a kid in elementary school, <laughs> the enemy was teenagers. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And then once you're a teenager, the enemy is high school. Yeah. <laughs> and then once you're in high school, the enemy is adult. Yeah. And then once you're an adult, the enemy the is, enemy children, is all anyone children. younger than yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> all children. Okay, there's two of them, and they both are going to sound exactly the same because they're twins. What do they sound like before we go any further? Um, I don't know. I got nothing, man. Southern. Be, be, southern? Okay. We'll do, yeah, let's do Southern. I was going to do stereotypical bully voice. What's that? Oh, yeah. Like, you're so into that, aren't you? <laughs> what if it's a Southern bully? What would that sound like? <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, you're so into that, okay. aren't you? <laughs> All right. That's what we got. That sounds less menacing. Southern bully. That's what makes you're it more friendly. friendly. Who are you? One no, of them. Do Frank Underwood. Frank <laughs> Southern bully! Haha, <laughs> 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 you get that joke! 
I love that woman like a shark loves blood. It's a line from House of Cards. Kevin Spacey on House of Cards. I know. All right. I don't know what he sounds like. Who are you? I can't do that. I don't know. <laughs> One of the mass... I'm just going to do something. One of the mass medicine lane, narrowing his pale gray eyes. Ugh, trying to act tough. <laughs> are you disgusted by my pale gray eyes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Both twins moved closer, forcing Evan to take a big step back. These guys are twice my size, Evan realized, feeling a wave of fear sweep over him. Are they just acting tough? Is he tough? two foot tall? Or do they really mean to give me trouble? Me, because there's two of them? I, I'm staying <laughs> with my... each other's shoulders. Some people hit their growth spurt later in life. <laughs> I'm staying with my aunt. He stammered, shoving his hands into his pockets and taking another step back like a twerp. The, the twins flashed each other quick grins. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Try to think of a good place to do. I know. <clears throat> you can't walk on this block. One of them said, hovering over Evan. <laughs> yeah, you're not a resident. The other added. That's a big word. <laughs> Evan cracked. Then immediately wished he hadn't said it. Why can't I ever keep my big fucking mouth shut? He asked himself. His eyes surveyed the neighborhood. Searching for someone who might come to his aid in case the twins decided to get rough. Oh, watch Andy beat them up. Yeah, I hope so. That'd be great. But there was no one in sight. Front doors were closed. Yards were empty. Way down the block, he could see a mailman headed the other way. <laughs> Too far away to shout to. Delivering mail. That mailman doesn't give a shit about you. No one around. No one to help him. And the two boys, their faces set, their eyes still menacing, began to move in on him. Sexually. <laughs> I just figured out what their both their voices should be. The, right. the, 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 yeah, see? That's what I was <laughs> thinking at first, but I, we kept doing that. But before, both of them but... are the same But you keep voice. doing the same old man voice That's for true. old man. Yeah, we keep doing that. Okay. Well, it's a staple. Yeah. Yeah, all right. All right, I'm going Yeah, back. see, yeah. what my brother said. Yeah. yeah. What he said. <laughs> so, you ready? Becca, do that voice. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, do that voice. <laughs> Chapter 10. Where do you think you're going? One of the twins asked. His hands were balled into fists at his sides. He stepped Jesus. closer until he was just an inch or two from Evan, forcing Evan to take a few steps back. To see a friend, Evan replied uncertainly. Maybe these guys are just bluffing. Not allowed, the twin said quickly, grinning at his brother. They both snickered and moved toward Evan, forcing him back <laughs> off the curb into the street. And then he got hit by a bus. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a resident, the other one repeated. He narrowed his eyes, trying to look tough. Hey, give me a break, guys, Evan said. He tried moving to the side, walking on the street to get around them. But they both moved quickly to keep him from getting away. Maybe you could pay a toll, one of them said. What? Yeah, the other one quickly chimed in. You could pay a non-resident toll, Ugh. you know, to get temporary permission for walking on this block. These are terrible bullies. Are so they like, just push the, him down trolls. and steal his money. They're, they're trolls. They're trolls. You gotta yeah. pay the troll yeah. toll. <laughs> Sounds like my childhood. The kid of this boy soul. <laughs> I, I don't have any money, Evan said, feeling his fear grow. That's a real sentence <laughs> in this book. He, some, he suddenly remembered he had eight dollars in his pocket. Oh, come on. Were they going to rob him? Would they beat him up and then rob him? Give them the money and then they will beat you up first. <laughs> Throw yeah. monster blood at them. <laughs> you have to pay the toll, see? One of them said. <laughs> All right, you made a good choice. Leering at him. Yeah. Let's just see what you've got. They both moved quickly forward, making a grab for him. He backed away. His legs suddenly felt heavy from fear. Suddenly, a voice cried out from down the yes. sidewalk. I'm going to make a guess. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Evan raised his eyes past the two hulking boys to see Andy speeding <laughs> towards them on her bike along the curb. Evan, hi. <laughs> the twins turned away from Evan to greet the new arrival. <laughs> hi, Andy, one of them said in a mocking tone. How's it going, Andy? The other one asked, <laughs> Im imitating his brother. <laughs> Andy <laughs> braked her bike and dropped both feet to the ground. She was wearing bright pink shorts and a yellow sleeveless undershirt top. Oh, her voice was yeah. Her face was red. Her forehead beaded with perspiration from pedaling so hard. Jesus. You too, she said, and made an unpleasant face. <laughs> okay. Rick and Tony. <laughs> Is that their names? Yeah. 
She turned to Evan. Uh, Were they getting on your case? <laughs> well, Evan started hesitantly. We were welcoming him to the neighborhood, the one named Rick said, grinning at his brother. Sorry. Tony started to add something, but Andy interrupted. Well, leave him alone. Are you his mother? Tony asked, snickering. He no, my mom's in Atlanta and I love her and miss her. No, I was tweeting. He turned to Evan and made goo-goo baby noises. <laughs> what? He turned you know, to Evan and made goo baby, baby noises. Go, 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 go. Yeah, you're a baby. <laughs> he sounds like Jake's dad. Yeah, no, I'm a baby. I'm gonna cry, see? <laughs> Don't touch him. He's got boom boom. <laughs> this is a boom boom baby. <laughs> <laughs> I made brown. <laughs> what babies do. <laughs> babies are poop machines. They are. That's all they're good mm. for. Yeah. We'll leave him alone, Rick said, stepping toward Andy. We'll borrow your bike and leave him alone. Oh, shit. No way, Andy said heatedly. But before Andy could move, Rick grabbed the handlebars. Look go, Andy cried, trying to pull the bike from his grasp. Rick held tight. Tony shoved Andy hard. Jesus. What? She lost her balance and fell, and the bike toppled over on top of her. Oh. <laughs> Andy uttered a low cry as Whoa. she hit her head on the concrete curb. Jesus oh Christ! <laughs> Laying in a pool of her own blood. Her brain spilling out. <laughs> she lay sprawled on the curb. She probably needs a bone ladder. <laughs> it's a new medical procedure. <laughs> Her hands flailing, the bike on top of her. Her hands flailing because of the flailing. seizure she's having. Flailing because <laughs> she's too weak to lift a bicycle <laughs> off of herself. <laughs> Before she could get up, Tony reached down and grabbed the bike away. He swung his legs over the seat, even though it was a girl's bike, and began to pedal furiously. Wait up, his brother called, laughing as he ran alongside. In seconds, the twins had disappeared around the corner with Andy's bike. Jesus. Andy! Some hard shit. Are you okay? Evan cried, hurrying to the curb. Are you okay? They pushed that girl down, but they couldn't just beat up that stupid kid and steal his money. Yeah, seriously. She's probably more threatening. <laughs> she definitely yeah, is. Yeah, well, then be an easy target. He grabbed Andy's hand and pulled her to her feet. She stood up groggily, rubbing the back of her head. I hate those creeps, she said. She brushed dirt and grass off her shorts and legs. Ow, that hurt. Who are they? Evan asked. The Bamer twins, she answered, making a disgusting, disgusted, disgusting face. Real heavy duty dudes. She added sarcastically. She checked her leg to see if it was cut. It was just scraped. They think they're so cool, but they're total creeps. What about your bike? Should we call the police or something? No need. Evan, she, said, she, bleh, she said quietly, brushing back her dark hair. I'll get it back. They've done this before. They'll leave it somewhere where they're, when they're finished with it. When they're finished fucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but shouldn't we? They just run wild, Andy interrupted. <laughs> There's no one home to check up on them. They live with their grandmother, but she's never around. Where's the, their grandmother going? She's, go, she's <laughs> dead. Did they give you a hard time? Evan nodded. I was afraid. <laughs> I was gonna have to pound them. <laughs> he joked. Andy didn't laugh. Because it wasn't Weirdly. funny. <laughs> Strangely. <laughs> I'd like to pound them, she said angrily. Just once. I'd With like I'd like to pay them back. <laughs> they pick on all the kids in the neighborhood. They think they can do whatever they want because they're so big and because there are two of them. 
Just do what I did in my neighborhood. All the kids that get beat up grab a bunch of rocks and then throw them at the people that beat <laughs> them up. Your knee is cut, Evan said, pointing. I'd better go home and clean it up, she replied, rolling her eyes disgustedly. <laughs> she hates blood. I hate everything. See you later, okay? I have to go somewhere this afternoon, but maybe we can do something tomorrow. She headed back to her house, rubbing the back of her head. Evan returned to Catherine's, walking slowly, thinking about the Bamer twins, daydreaming about fighting them, imagining himself beating them to a pulp, in a fight as Andy watched, cheering him on. Longest sentence ever. <laughs> Catherine was dusting the front room as Evan entered. She didn't look up. He headed quickly up the stairs to his room. Now what am I going to do, he wondered, pacing back and forth. The blue container of monster blood caught his eye. He walked over to the bookshelf and picked up the can from the middle shelf. He pulled off the lid. The can was nearly full. I guess Trigger didn't eat that much, he thought, feeling a little relieved. Trigger! He'd forgotten all about him. The poor dog must be hungry. Putting down the monster blood, Evan bombed down the stairs, leaning against the banister I, and I taking the stairs three yeah. at a time. Like I, a bomb! I get it. Then, running full out, he practically flew to the dog run at the back of the yard. He didn't eat for a day. He didn't hold a fucking... Whatever. <laughs> I mean, he'll live. <clears throat> Trigger! Hey, Trigger! He called. Halfway across the backyard, Evan could see that something was wrong. Trigger's eyes were bulging. His yeah. mouth was wide open, his tongue flailing rapidly from side to side. Ew. White spittle running down his chin hair onto the ground. Ew. Like when I read this. <laughs> Trigger! The dog was gasping hoarsely, each breath a desperate, difficult struggle. He's choking, Evan realized. As Evan reached the dog run, Trigger's eyes rolled back and the dog's legs collapsed under him, his stomach still heaving, the air filled with his loud, hideous gasps. End of chapter 10. How great would it be if the dog just died this early in the book and wasn't a nuisance for the rest of the entire uh, book? Like it would be great, I'd cry. <laughs> he just gets sent to the vet and has to stay there. <laughs> chapter remaining. 11. Yeah. And then like comes back in the last chapter pages. and yeah, says, yeah. 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 Chapter 11. Like R.L. Stein's uh, writing talent. Get it? Bankrupt? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, man. I'm boring. <laughs> <laughs> Trigger! No! Evan dived to his knees beside the dog and began to tug at Trigger's collar, <laughs> asphyxiating him like... He can't He's breathe. I'm gonna tug it again. There. The collar Evan saw had become way too tight. The dog's chest heaved. Thick white spittle flowed from his upper mouth. We covered that in the last chapter, RL. <laughs> Hold on, boy. Hold on, Evan cried. The dog's eyes rolled wildly in his head. We also covered that in the last chapter. He didn't seem to see or hear Evan. Hold on, fella. Just hold on. The collar wouldn't budge. It was buried tightly under the dog's fur. His hands shaking, Evan struggled to pull the collar over Trigger's head. Come loose, come loose, come loose, he begged. Yes! Trigger uttered the pained wind, a pained whimper as Evan finally managed to pull the collar away. Trigger! It's off! Are you okay? Still panting hard, the dog jumped immediately to his feet. He licked Evan's face appreciatively, covering Evan's cheek with his Thick saliva. That's Ew. disgusting. All that ra rabies spit. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't say white spittle. <laughs> he found a new word. <laughs> 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 Whimpering as if he understood that Evan had just saved his life. Ow. Ow. <laughs> what just happened? I just told John and Becca to look at their cat down the hallway because it was... It's been playing with the same toy for like the last ten minutes. Oh, is it Delilah? Yeah. 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 Those tea bags full of cat. And, yeah. then I, and then I guess they hit each other. Yeah. We you bonked. smacked his. You smacked your face into my shoulder. I didn't shoulder. smack. I was leaning over, and then you turned and you smacked me. <laughs> oh man, being married's awesome. Uh. <laughs> Stop looking at me. Everyone, look at yeah, Delilah. Can see Delilah. <laughs> I still can. <laughs> In fact, she's looking down the hallway like, why the fuck did you turn off the light? <laughs> I can't see my toy. Sorry for interrupting. Easy, boy. <laughs> Easy. Was that to me or were you reading? Yeah, no, read the book. <laughs> it's both. <laughs> Easy, fella, Evan repeated, but the dog continued to lick him gratefully. Ew. <laughs> Evan hugged the excited dog. 
This had been a close call, he knew. If he hadn't come along just then... Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> well, he didn't want to think about it. <laughs> Master of suspense. <laughs> when Trigger finally Mario, calmed down... Did it again. <laughs> when Trigger finally calmed down, Evan examined the collar. What made this collar shrink like that, boy? You're an idiot. Yes, Trigger. <laughs> The dog walked over to the fence and was frantically slurping water from his bowl. This is plain weird, Evan thought. The collar couldn't have shrunk. It's made of leather. <laughs> there was... <laughs> oh, the dog grew bigger because of the monster bullet. Yeah, he definitely... literally could have said any any material that a collar could be made out of, yeah, but anything. it still wouldn't have shrunk. Polyester. Nylon. Uh, nylon, yeah. <laughs> Ring. It it's definitely flan. couldn't be the monster blood that the dog ate. Unless no. it was cotton and they threw the dog and the collar in the, the dryer. Dog, <laughs> is the dog noticeably bigger and Evan's just an idiot? Like, probably. Yeah. That's what I'm going to guess. It's an R.L. Stein mm. character. The dog so has like a softball sized lump in its throat. So, yeah. <laughs> God. There's, there was no reason for it to shrink. Wow. <laughs> We're clearly working with genius here. Oh, yeah. Mm. Then Have you heard why the other episodes? <laughs> did it suddenly start choking Trigger? Evan turned to Trigger, studying him as the dog lapped greedily at the water, breathing hard. He turned and glanced back at Evan for a second, wondering why this kid was such a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> then returned to his frantic water slurping. <laughs> He's bigger, Evan oh, decided. Oh, finally yeah. figured it He's out. He's definitely bigger. Like the whole dog is bigger? <laughs> no, just his neck. Just his neck is bigger. <laughs> but Trigger was 12 years old. 84 in human years. Oh, God. He's Jesus. gonna die soon. It's an old ass dog. It's a little dog. He might go to like 15. <laughs> Older than Aunt Catherine. Trigger was too old for a late growth spurt. Oh my god. Evan, you're just, you're so stupid. You're so I want to know how young his dad is. can't wait till the dad tries to kill him. Yeah. I, I want to oh know how young god. his dad is if 84 is older than his great aunt. I want to know if his parents are related to yeah. one another. Well, yeah. Great, yeah. Their great aunts aren't that old. Yeah, no, they're. I mean, it, what, how old is Evan? Like, what, nine or something? Nine? Your great aunt and uncle are going to be about as old as your grandparents. Your Possibly grandparents younger, are 84 depending. when you're 10. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, it depends. If, like, I, if your grandparents are the I have, oldest in the yeah. family. And, yeah, I have, like, knows? six great aunts and uncles, and my grandmother was right smack in the middle. But still. Yeah. They're making her sound like she's about 100 fucking years old. Yeah, and that's just yeah. not but really that accurate. She has accurate. black hair. Yeah. 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 And man hands. And it's totally a man. She's yeah. probably like 60. <laughs> and definitely not a witch. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. No, I'm pretty she's sure she's probably, a man. But I don't think she's that old. I'm pretty sure that cat's her husband. I'm going to call it now. <laughs> I'm going to call it now and say like she actually is a witch and she's familiar with monster blood. Yeah. I'm sure she's she like, knows oh, it. the she fun you will get into. No, she's familiar with that cat. Yeah. No, she's <laughs> she's probably gonna come in at the very end, and be like monster blood, alakazam. It's, yeah, yeah. Smash the zoo. Yeah. It's too easy. I don't know. Behold. <laughs> All right. It must be my eyes. That was for you, Jeff. Evan decided, tossing the collar to the ground. The, this place must be making me see things. That oh, has yeah, to be. Oh yeah, your friend it. didn't ruin our podcast. Yeah. yeah. Uh, He'll be so excited. <laughs> the curse is broken. <laughs> Catherine was at the kitchen door, calling Evan to lunch. He poured out a bowl of dry food, shouted goodbye to Trigger, who didn't look up from the water dish. Yeah, because Becca he doesn't page. understand English. <laughs> Jonathan got a Becca page. <laughs> and hurried to the house. The house was brown. The leaves were green. <laughs> Outside, clouds were in the sky. The next morning, and oh, come on. <laughs> the next morning, an overcast morning, with an autumn... Guys, an overcast morning. With an autumn chill in oh, the air. The that sounds beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Evan made his way to Andy's house. He found her huddled under a big maple tree in her neighbor's front yard. Front yard. Yeah. Yard. Yeah. <laughs> front yard. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? He called. Then he saw that she was leaning over something, her hands working quickly. 
Come help me, she cried, not looking up. Evan came jogging over. Whoa! He cried out when he saw that Andy was struggling to free a calico cat that had been tied to the tree trunk. The cat screeched and swiped its paw at Andy. Andy dodged the claws and can like a that's impossible like a superhuman. I bet them twins are behind And continued that. to pull at the big knots in their rope. Eh, right, Chris. What? The Bamer twins did this. Oh, I knew it. I know it. I called it. She said loudly over the shrilly, shrilly protesting cat. This poor cat was probably tied up here all night. The cat, in a panic, shrieked with amazingly human-sounding cries. Ha! 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 I'm tied up! Help me! Help me! Help me! I'm a cat! That's all right. Stand still. Oh. Stand still, cat, Evan said, as, as the terrified cat swiped its claw at Andy again. Can I help? I thought it was going to be like, Red Herring did this. From a pup baby Scooby-Doo. No, I've almost got it, she replied, tugging at the knot. I'd like to tie Rick and Tony to this tree. Poor frightened cat, Evan said quietly. He's very sensitive. <laughs> there, Andy said triumphantly, pulling the rope loose. The cat gave one last cry of protest, its tail standing <gasps> straight up. Then it darted away, running at full speed and disappeared <laughs> just, just, under a tall hedge without looking back. <laughs> <laughs> Not very polite, Evan muttered. Andy stood up inside. She was wearing faded denim jeans and a pale green oversized t-shirt that came down nearly to her knees. She lifted the bottom of the shirt to examine a hole the cat had managed to snag in it. You wouldn't be wearing a shirt that big and also be concerned about Insane. it having a hole in it. Wait, is this, this is from like the early 90s though, right? Yeah. So you'd probably be wearing a shirt that big. Yeah, that's true. Very grungy. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe those two creeps, she said, shaking her head. Maybe we should call the police or the ASPCA or something. What the fuck are you doing? It's fine. Keep going. <laughs> the twins would just deny it, Andy said glumly, shaking her head. And that cat's not a very good witness. They both laughed. Ha ha ha! Evan led the way back to his aunt's house. All the way back, they talked about how they'd like to teach the Bamer twins a lesson. But neither of them had any good ideas. More like the Gamer twins. <laughs> <clears throat> They found Catherine concentrating on a jigsaw puzzle at the dining room table, because you don't need to hear to enjoy a good puzzle. She looked up when they entered, squint as if she heard them, <laughs> squinting at them. You like jigsaw puzzles? I like to keep my mind active, you know? the way. That's why I like puzzles. Your mind can get flabby when you get to be my age. 112. <laughs> Didn't you exactly say... That they make it seem like she's 112. Yeah. <laughs> wow, uh, back of psychic. This is great. Well, I said 100, but it was close. <laughs> she slapped the table gleefully at her own wit. <laughs> Evan and Andy both flashed her agreeable smiles because she's insane. Then she returned to her puzzle without waiting for a reply. <laughs> she's going to drive me bananas, Evan exclaimed. <laughs> Evan, she'll hear you, Andy protested, cupping a hand over his mouth. <laughs> I told you, she's completely deaf. She can't hear me. She doesn't want to hear anyone. She hates everyone. <laughs> I think she's sweet, Andy said. <laughs> Why does she wear a bone around her neck? <laughs> See, she figured out it was a bone right away. Andy's, uh, Evan's dumb. <laughs> Probably thinks it's cool, Evan cracked. Let's go upstairs, Andy urged, pushing him toward the stairs. I still feel weird talking about your aunt right in front of her. You're a crazy old coot, Evan called to Catherine, a big smile on his face. Catherine looked up from her puzzle pieces to cast a cold stare his way. <laughs> she heard you, Evan cried, horrified. <laughs> Are we going to keep going? Yeah. All right. Wait, wait. Where? Well, Is it the end of the chapter? Was it the end of the chapter? It will be. Oh, oh. One more, one more chapter after this? All right. That sound good? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's keep this train going. So just keep reading okay. on to the next one. Don't be dumb, Evan said. <laughs> Evan said. And started up the stairs, nearly tripping over Sarah Beth. Up in Evan's room, damn cat. Andy paced uncomfortably. What do you want to do? Well, we could read some of these great books, Evan said sarcastically, pointing <laughs> to the dusty old books that lined the walls. 
Maybe find a spell to cast on the Bamer twins. You know, turn them into newts. Forget about newts, Andy said dryly. Hey, where's the monster blood? <laughs> <laughs> Before Evan could answer, she spotted it on one of the shelves. They raced across the room for it. Andy got there first and grabbed the can. Ah, bitch. Evan, look, she said, her eyes growing wide with surprise. What's going on? She held up the can. The green gunk had pushed up the lid and was flowing <sighs> out of the can. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> Great Caesar's ghost. <laughs> Stuff's no good anymore, I tell you. It's no good. I think it's turned. Chapter 12. Huh? Did the top break or something? Oh my God. Evan asked. Evan, you're, you're just so stupid. He has no spatial you're awareness. You're so stupid. He took the can from her and Girls examined it. spatial awareness quicker than boys. I don't think that's right. I think it's the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Your girls are always asking for directions, am I right, guys? They mature faster and they develop spatial awareness. Mm. Sure enough, the lid had popped off. The gooey green substance was pushing up out of the can. Evan pulled out a handful of the green gunk. Weird, he exclaimed. I forgot we were going to get Gak. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> forgot about that until just now. <laughs> it's expanding, he said, squeezing it in his hand. It's definitely growing. <laughs> it's expanding, he said, squeezing it in his hand. <laughs> it's definitely growing. Get it? I get it. Get it's it? like a penis. Puberty. <laughs> it only grows when Andy's near. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and let's not talk about the dog. Yourself? <laughs> Maybe the dog's a metaphor for his dick. Oh, God, I hope not. I hope not as well. I guess so, Andy exclaimed. It grew right out of the can. Hey, it's not cold anymore, Evan said. He balled it up and tossed it to Andy. It's really warm, she agreed. That's disgusting. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> she tried to toss it back to him, but it stuck to her. <laughs> ah, stuck to oh god. It stuck to her finger. Oh. It stuck to her palm. <laughs> it's it's Does getting blood sticky. Smell like bleach? <laughs> it's getting sticky, she reported. Ah. <laughs> Are you sure this is the same stuff? <laughs> of course, Evan replied. But it wasn't sticky before, remember? She said. He pulled another warm hunk of it <laughs> <laughs> from the can. Yes. I guess it just changes after the can has been opened. <laughs> the oxygen activates. Oh, shit. Oxyclean. Oh. He squeezed the stuff into a ball shape and Oxy then tossed blood. it to the floor. Look, it stuck to the floor. It didn't bounce. Weird, Andy repeated. Maybe I should throw it in the trash, Evan said, prying the sticky glob from the floor. It's a waste of $8. I mean... What good is it if it doesn't bounce? <laughs> That's pretty much the only things I look for in toys at my age. <laughs> hey, no way, Andy said. We've got to see what it does next. A soft mewing sound made them both turn toward the door. Evan was surprised to see Sarah Beth standing there, her head cocked, her yellow eyes staring at him. Or was she staring at the glob of monster blood in his hand? That cat looks so intelligent, Andy said. No it, one has ever said. It's as stupid as every other cat, Evan muttered. Look, she wants to play ball with monster blood. Sorry, cat, Andy said. It doesn't bounce. <laughs> as if she understood, Sarah mewed unhappily, turned and padded silently from the room. Well, if it doesn't bounce, I don't want nothing to fucking do with it. <laughs> 
Now where am I going to keep this stuff? Evan asked. It's too big for the can. Here. <laughs> How about this? Andy asked. She reached down to a low shelf and came up with an empty coffee can. Where are they? In the kitchen? I don't know. I thought they went upstairs. Are they in the library? Yeah. Aren't they in his room where the monster mm-hmm. blood is? In the no, books. No, no. Where he sleeps on a cot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. Evan tossed his hunk into the coffee can. Andy squeezed hers into a flat pancake. Ew. Look, it isn't glowing the way it used to either, she said, holding the pancake up for Evan to see. But it <laughs> sure is warm, almost hot. It's alive! Evan screamed play- playfully. <laughs> Run for your life, it's alive! Andy laughed and began to chase Evan, <laughs> menacing him with a flat green pancake. This is so bad. Come get your monster blood, come and get it! He dodged away, then grabbed it from her hand. He squeezed it together, balling it up in one hand, then tossed it into the coffee can. They both peered into the can. The green substance filled it up a little more than halfway. Go ahead, taste it, Andy urged, poking the can in his face. Poking it into his face. Poking it into his face. (laughs) I dare you. Huh, no way. I double dare you, Evan said, pushing the can back to her. Double dares have to go first, Andy insisted, grinning. Go ahead, taste it. You're making these rules up if you go. I've never heard of that rule. Evan made a disgusted face and shook his head. Then he grabbed a big hunk of it and heaved it at Andy. Laughing, she picked it up off the carpet and tossed it at his face. She threw high and the green glob stuck to the wall. Evan reached for another hunk. They had a messy, hilarious... Monster blood battle till dinner time. <laughs> Those are the, all the words from the book. She so didn't how, make any so of that. How long up. did it go? Five hours of playing <laughs> with monster blood. Then, as they tried to clean up, they both heard Trigger through the open window. He was barking loudly out in the pen. <laughs> Evan reached the window first. The sky was still gray and overcast. Trigger was leaning on the wooden fence, standing on his hind legs, barking his head off. Whoa, Trigger, Evan called. Chill out! Hey, what's with Trigger? Andy asked. Is your dog still growing? <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> that was a good That's dog. That was good. You it was get. really good. He looks so big. Evan's mouth dropped open and he uttered a silent gasp, realizing that Andy was right. Silent gasp. Trigger had nearly doubled in size. Chapter 13. Trigger, What come. page is it? Uh, 65. Oh, what? <laughs> wow, that was a happy accident. Oh, man. This better be a good chapter. You guys. Be horribly disappointed. You guys are my best friends. <laughs> Turns out he wasn't bigger. The moisture just shrunk his collar. <laughs> uh, no, Jesus that would be Christ. party games. Ugh, I know. <laughs> Trigger, come back. Come back. The big dog continued to run, its giant paws thundering against the concrete. Come back! Evan screamed, running with his long, desperate strides, his heart thudding, his legs aching with each step because he doesn't work out as he tried to catch up with the galloping dog. The night was dark and starless. The street was was sark and starless. The street glistened... The street glistened as if it had recently rained. Did it? Uh, or was it just shining for no reason? That's a mystery. <laughs> you're okay. reading it like you're coming up with it on the spot. <laughs> yeah. Recently rained. Trigger's paws hit the pavement, each step a loud thundering that seemed to echo forever. His giant ears flopped like flapped, flapped like wings. Twin pennants. Caught on the wind, <laughs> his big head bobbed up and down you're like reading his, it like you're like, a sportscaster. Like his neck was broke. <laughs> his giant ears flapped like wings. Twin <laughs> pennants caught on the wind. His big head bobbed up and down, but didn't look back. Trigger, trigger. Evan's voice seemed muffled by the gusting wind pushing back in his face. He tried shouting louder, but no sound came out at all. Why? He knew he had to stop the dog from running away. He had to catch the dog and then get help. Why was the dog running away? Because it was too big. Because it's a big dog. Trigger was growing so fast, completely out of control. He was already the size of a pony and getting larger by the minute. What? What? Trigger, Trigger, stop, boy. He was... That's... No. Trigger didn't seem to hear him. Evan's voice didn't seem to carry beyond the gusting, swirling wind. 
And still Evan ran, his chest pounding, every muscle aching. As he ran, he suddenly realized there were others running too. Two large figures in front of the stampeding dog. Two large figures Evan recognized as they fled at full oh. speed, trying to get away from the onrushing animal. I hope Who do you think two large it is? Those shitty kids. What the were their names? Beamer twins. I was gonna say the Berkeley Rick boys. And Tony. <laughs> the Berkeley boys. The Berkeley boys. <laughs> Trigger was chasing them, Evan suddenly realized. The boys turned a corner onto an even darker street. Ooh. Trigger followed, bounding after them. A fear street? <laughs> fear street. <laughs> Evan continued to run, no, bringing up the lane. rear of this dark, mysterious parade. He's getting really poetic all it's of a sudden. Parade? All was silent now, except for the steady, rhythmic thunder of Trigger's enormous padded paws. This is the most poetic chapter How? in any of these books, including Fear Street. How big is this dog? Was he weigh like 500 pounds? He's the size of a pony. That's ridiculous. Oh, you could ride him. Except oh. for the clap, clap, clap of the Bamer twin sneakers as they darted along the glistening pavement. That's not a full sentence. Sneakers oh don't my make God. that noise. <laughs> Except for the gasp of Evan's breathing as he struggled to keep up. Jesus, get in shape, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Page 67. <laughs> Suddenly, as Evan watched in horror, the dog raised up on his hind legs. He tilted his head to the sky and let out an ear-piercing howl. Not the howl of a dog. <laughs> a creature howl. Uh, howl. <laughs> and then Trigger's features began to transform. Is he turning into a monster? His forehead burst forward and Ew. enlarged. His eyes grew wide and round before sinking under the protruding forehead. Fangs slid from his gaping mouth and he uttered another howl to the sky, louder and more chilling than the first. He's turning He's a monster! A monster, Evan cried. And woke up. What? What? No! Come yep. on! Yep. Normally he Fuck starts you. chapter with disappointment. Yeah. Yeah. Woke up from his frightening dream. Ugh. And realized he was in bed, in the study upstairs in Catherine's house. He doesn't have a bed, he has a cot. They specifically mentioned that earlier. In his depressing cot. It had all been a dream. A frightening, wild chase of a dream. <laughs> That's what it says. That's fucking crazy. What a wild chase of a dream. A harmless dream, except that something still wasn't right. The bed. It felt so uncomfortable. <laughs> so cramped, as if it were a cot. <laughs> Evan sat up, alert, wide awake now, and stared down at his giant feet. What? His giant what? hands, and realized how tiny the bed seemed beneath him. What? Because Probably he was a giant now. Dream. Because he had grown so huge. He didn't eat any, Wait, he didn't eat any right? <laughs> Hold on, it sounds really gross now. Yeah. Because he had grown so huge, so monstrously huge. <laughs> and when he saw how big he had become, he Metaphor opened his puberty. mouth wide and began to scream. End of chapter 13. Oh, uh, fuck. Ooh, this is a short one. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you read that? Yes. Yeah. Chapter 14. His screams woke him up. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, he usually starts the chapter with disappointment. This time he really woke up, just so we know. <laughs> a time. dream within a dream. Is he's he being really, incepted? It's inception. He's, in, he's being incepted. And realized that, for the first By time, the store owner. he had only dreamed that he was awake. He had only dreamed that he... Had become a giant. Does that mean Party Games wasn't actually that long? It just seemed really long because we were in a dream? No, it was a million pages long. Dream... Uh, <laughs> I get it. Dreams upon dreams. Was he... Dreams upon dreams. Dreams upon dreams. Dream was he really dream awake dream. now? He sat up, <laughs> blinked, rubbed his eyes, and struggled to focus. Dripping with sweat. His blankets tossed to the floor. His pajamas damp clinging to his prickly skin. Nothing seemed familiar. It took a while to shake off the dream, to remember where he was, that he was in his room at his deaf Aunt Catherine's. Awake now. He wasn't now, in a bed. His, he was on a fucking cot. Awake now, his normal size. Tossed by the wind, the curtains brushed over him. They were noisily sucked out the window. Then were noisily sucked out the window. <laughs> Evan sat up, still feeling shaky, and peered out the window. 
Wisps of gray clouds floated over a pale half moon. Wisps. Trees Wisps. tossed and whispered in the cool night wind. Whispered. Only a dream. A frightening dream. A dream on top of a dream. <laughs> dream! He could see Trigger sound asleep. I had a dream! Curled up the on himself. Of kids. <laughs> pressed up against Windows. the fence wall. Trigger wasn't a monster, but he was definitely bigger, Evan saw. Maybe there's something wrong with him. The troubling thought pushed its way into Evan's mind as he stared down at the sleeping dog. Maybe it's glands or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's eating too much. Or maybe... Evan yawned. He realized he was too sleepy to think clearly. Maybe the next morning he'd see if there was a reaction. vet in town. <laughs> Yawning again, he started to settle back into the bed. But something caught. Cot! Cot! Into the cot! Why point but, out that it's a cot earlier in the book if you're just going to call it a bed the rest of it? But something caught his eye. Caught his eye? Caught his <laughs> eye! We did it! I'm sorry. I'm sorry for interrupting you. That's quite all right. It was called for. <laughs> the coffee can on the bookshelf, the can where he stored the monster blood. Hey! He cried aloud <laughs> to the blood. The yes. The green gunk was bubbling, quivering up over the top of the can. Ooh. I like that the way he writes this, he constantly reminds us of details he only just covered pages before. Yeah. The coffee because can. Because people are Children listening to this. Oh, like a week apart. It does help. Yeah, no, it does. a lot of exposition. <laughs> End of chapter 14. Begin of chapter 15. Okay. <laughs> Your dog seems to be quite healthy for his age. Dr. Forrest scratched Trigger gently under the chin. Look at all the white hairs, he said, bringing his face down close to the dogs. You're a good old dog, aren't you? I'm going to give you a mouth kiss. <laughs> he didn't actually say that. <laughs> Aw. Trigger licked the doctor's hand appreciatively. Trigger did, though. Dr. Forrest grinned with a boner. <laughs> Pushing his black eyeglasses up his narrow nose, the ceiling light black? reflecting off his shiny forehead. It Dane's sounded here, like funny. glasses specifically made for black eyes. <laughs> yeah. His black, eye, his black eye glasses. <laughs> black eye glasses. He wiped his hand on the front of his white lab coat. Uh, sh should I read it like a, a old school radio timey yes. boy? Yeah, you do whatever you want. <laughs> okay. Ahem. Ahem. Evan and Andy stood across from Trigger in the small, <laughs> brightly lit office. They had both been tense during the long examination Why the vet had given the dog. Andy there? Because it's, it's his friend. It's a BFFs. Okay. But now, hearing the doctor's verdict, they had relaxed expressions on their faces. So you think it's just the late growth spurt? Evan repeated. Dr. Forrest nodded, returning to his desk in the corner. What a bad We bet. don't need to know where the desk is. It, 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 terrible writing. Highly unusual. He said softly, leaning over the desk to write a note on a pad. Fascinating. Highly unusual. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> what, what does the doctor sound like? I, I just, uh, doc, highly unusual. We'll get a lab report in three or four days. It may tell us more, but the dog seems very healthy to me. I really wouldn't be alarmed. But do Cocker Spaniels usually get this big? <laughs> Is a Cocker Spaniel? Evan yeah. asked. That's why I had floppy ears. I've been, oh, I've been picturing a bigger dog this whole time. Uh, well, it's bigger now. Leaning well. down to scratch Trigger. <laughs> uh, trigger under the chin and then under his butt. The leash looped loosely in his hand. The leash looped loosely. <laughs> In his hand. Say that three Someone times Someone got really into loose alliteration in, in these the last couple leash, chapters. The leash looped loosely in his hand. Trigger wanted to leave because he was a dog at the vet. He pulled toward the door. Evan stood up and tugged hard at the leash to keep the big dog in place. It it's took like all by of the his... time he got to this book, he was like, oh, maybe I should try. <laughs> <laughs> it took all of his strength because he's a weakling. Trigger was not only bigger, but he was much stronger than he had been a few days before. No, not usually, the vet replied. That's why I took the hormone tests and the blood and glandular samples. Maybe the lab will have an answer for us. Or maybe Evan's getting weaker. He finished writing and tore the sheet off the pad. Here, he said, handing the sheet of paper to Evan. I wrote down the name of a good dog food. Put Trigger on this and see that he cuts down on his between-meal snacks. <laughs> he chuckled at his own joke. <laughs> that was a joke? Oh, my... 
Evan thanked the doctor and allowed Trigger to pull him out the door. Andy jogged after them. In the waiting room outside, a Chinese chihuahua covered... Chinese? A Chinese... A Chinese chihuahua? They're Mexican, Jonathan. <laughs> a Chinese chihuahua co- co- cowered behind the... Ca- uh, drunk. Cowered behind the couch. No kidding. Whimpering at the sight of the big cocker spaniel. I'm glad to be out of there, Evan exclaimed as they stepped out onto the sidewalk. Trigger got a very good report, Andy said, reassuringly tr- petting Trigger's head. Hey, look. The head is wider than my hand. And you did pronounce it right. It is pronounced Chinese. <laughs> he's nearly as big as a sheepdog, Evan said miserably. And Dr. Forrest says he's perfectly okay. That would be terrifying to think of. Like, just yeah, picture a cocker, a cocker spaniel, spaniel the size of a, the size of a sheepdog. No, horrifying. That is really disarming. That, you know, the second actually. they left that, that vet's office, the vet was just like, Holy Give me shit. the U.S. Yeah, like, Holy yeah. Oh my God, Guinness Book. <laughs> I gotta write a paper on this. <laughs> don't exaggerate, Andy scolded. She glanced at her watch. Oh no, I don't believe it. Late for my piano lesson. Again, <laughs> mom will kill me. She waved goodbye, turned, and ran full speed down the sidewalk, nearly colliding with an elderly couple coming slowly out of the small grocery store on the corner. Andy just barrels through two old Andy people. was just like, get me the fuck away from your freaky dog. <laughs> goodbye. Oh, look at the time. Let's go, boy, Evan said, thinking about what Dr. Forrest had said. Tugging the leash, he headed out of the small three-block town. What? I don't know. Despite the vet's assurances, Evan was still plenty worried about Trigger. He stopped outside the grocery. Maybe an ice cream pop will help me cheer up. A pop? Pop? Ice pop. cream pop? Like a push-up? Like a ice Flintstones cream pop? push cream push soda? Pop? Like a push pop? Yeah. Or cream yeah. soda? No. I, n- ice no. cream flavored pop? That's disgusting. Well, are Some they where they call it pop? pop? Well, they're wrong. Well, he calls boxes <laughs> cartons. There's something weird yeah. going on with R.L. Stein. He tied Trigger's leash to the red fire hydrant across in the grocery store. Stay, he instructed. I bet he's gonna stay. I bet he's not gonna run off like every fucking dog in every one of these books. <laughs> as Trigger. soon as she held the book up in front of your mouth, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he's gonna run off like... <laughs> Trigger, ignoring Evan, struggled to pull free. I'll only be a second, Evan said, and hurried into the store. There were three or four people in the store, and it took a bit longer than Evan had expected, because, wow, what a rush of three people in a grocery store. When he returned to the sidewalk ten minutes later, he discovered the Bamer twins busily untying Trigger. Hey, let go, he cried angrily. What a couple of shitheads. More like the boner twins. Uh, (laughs) They both turned toward him, identical grins on their beefy faces. Because they're identical. (laughs) Beefy. 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 <laughs> Evan's struggling with his sexuality. Look what we found, one of them teased. No, they have the... <clears throat> oh, look what we found, one of them teased. The other one successfully untied the leash from the hydrant. Hand me that, Evan insisted, holding his chocolate ice cream bar in one hand, reaching for the leash handle with the other. The Bamer twin held the leash handle out to Evan, then quickly snapped it back out of his reach. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it make me laugh so hard? I don't know. <laughs> I love that voice. <clears throat> What's it serious, John? Come on. Sorry, I'm sorry. What are they You're doing? distracting me. What are they doing? I'll tell you what they're doing. Stop okay. interrupting me. Okay. Wait, what are they doing? I don't know. I'm waiting for you to tell okay. me. Oh, I'm reading. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> the brothers. What are they la- doing? <laughs> Okay, Mark. <laughs> the brothers laughed gleefully and slapped each other a high five. <laughs> Hold on, I, I, I want to do another read on that. <clears throat> God, you perfectionist. The brothers laughed gleefully and slapped each other a high five. <laughs> Come on, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Stop fooling around, Evan insisted. Hand me the leash. <laughs> Find us keeper, as one of them said. <laughs> Isn't that right, Tony? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, Tony replied, <laughs> grinning. It's an ugly dog, but it's our ugly dog now. Uh. <laughs> I hope I get, get your own dog, wimp. 
Rick said nastily. He stepped forward nastily. and punched the ice cream bar out of Evan's hand. Punch. It landed on <laughs> it landed on the sidewalk Punch. with a plop. You were so sad. <laughs> These kids are dicks. <laughs> I know. I like, I mean, take a kid's dog, but, like, don't knock out his ice cream. You don't fuck with a kid's ice cream. They punched it. They punched it. Do unto others. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, Rick and Tony. <laughs> the brothers started to laugh, but their laughter was cut short as Trigger suddenly uttered a low warning growl. Pulling back his lips, he bared his teeth, and his growl became a snarl. What, where do you draw the line? Like, when does a growl become a snarl? Anyway. When they show their teeth? <laughs> Hey! Rick cried, <laughs> dropping the leash. With a loud, angry roar, Trigger reared up and pounced on Rick, forcing Whoa. him to stagger backward to the curb, tearing out his throat in a <laughs> bloody mess. <laughs> that didn't actually happen. Tony had already started to run, his sneakers pounding the pavement noisily as he headed at full speed past the vet's office, past the post office, and kept going. That was oh the longest God, fucking come sentence ever. On. <clears throat> I don't need to know what he ran past. I know. Wait up. Hey, Tony, wait up. Eric stumbled, stood up, and took off after his brother. Evan grabbed for Trigger's leash and missed. Trigger, whoa, stop. The dog took off after the fleeing twins, barking angrily, his enormous paws thudding loudly on the pavement, picking up speed as he closed in on them. <gasps> Just like his dream. No, Evan thought, finding himself frozen there on the corner of the grocery. This music's no. so fitting. No, no, this can't be happening. It's my dream. It's coming true? Evan shuddered. <laughs> remembering the rest of his dream, remembering how he, too, grew until he was twice his size. Would that part of the dream also come true? Oh man, if I drink the monster blood, this. I okay. can beat up these suckers. Chapter 16. That afternoon, about an hour before dinner time, Evan called Andy. Can I come over? He asked. I have a small problem. Sounds like a big problem, Andy said. Yeah, okay, a big problem, Evan snapped impatiently. I'm not in the mood to kid around, okay, you bitch? <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm kind of picturing Morty <laughs> as Evan. Yes! Oh, God. Oh, man, Rick! <laughs> All right, I'm, gonna, good morning, I'm gonna. That's that's the, the voice I'm gonna do for now. And you got that, Chris? For who? What? Evan is Morty. Okay. Oh, man! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, Rick. Oh. Not at the moment. Oh, that guy's name's wait. Rick. Sorry. Wait, Rick, Rick, Rick. Wait, wait. Okay. Okay, sorry. Ahead. Andy replied. Any sign He's of... In it. Focus on your work. Any sign of Rick and Tony? They're not your problem, are they? Wait, what was the... How's the voice go? Oh, man. Not at the moment, he told her. I told you. They were gone by the time I caught up with Trigger. Disappeared. Vanished. Trigger was still barking his head off. Somehow I dragged him home and got him in his pen. So what's your problem? She asked. I can't tell you. I have to show you, he said. I'll be right there. Bye. He hung up on the phone. He hung up the phone and <laughs> hurried down the stairs. Carrying. Carrying the bucket. What bucket? I don't know. Did he put the blood in the bucket? The bucket of blood. Blood bucket. Blood bucket. Like that bar that's terrible. Wait, they never <laughs> said he put the blood in the bucket. Did it was they a coffee that? can. It was a coffee can, right? Well, now he's got a bucket, All right, and I'm sorry, a... I don't know what to do. Now he's giving Trigger a bath. Now he's got a bucket of blood. To Catherine wash off all the blood. was in the kitchen, her back to him, chopping away at something with her big butcher knife. Probably a crow. Probably. Because she's a witch. Evan hurried past and darted out the door. Andy's house was a modern Redwood Ranch style, with a low hedge of evergreens running along the front. Yeah, you know. You know, house stuff. Modern Redwood, like all kids know about. Yes. Her dad, she said, was a fanatic about the lawn. It was clipped a perfect inch and a half above the ground, smooth as a carpet. That's too The flower garden stretched along the front of the house. Tall orange and yellow tiger lilies bobbing in the gentle breeze. Okay, we're 76 pages in this book. Why is he describing the front yard right now? Because it's, Cause it's super Becca, important. The Becca page. It's a Becca page. Yeah, it's a, it's a Becca page. the backyard. I'm there's describing a, flowers and grass. There's a dog weed yeah. and everything. Yeah. <laughs> The front door was open. Evan knocked on the screen door. Why didn't you just go in? What's with the bucket? Was Andy's greeting when she let him in. Look, he said, out of breath from running all the way to her house, because he is really out of shape. Yeah, he's Jesus. in terrible shape. <laughs> Andy's like a 200-pound 10-year-old, and they just haven't mentioned it. He'll describe it later. He'll get to it later. He held up the aluminum bucket like he had taken from Catherine's garage. 
Oh, wow, Andy exclaimed, raising her hands to her face as she stared into it wide-eyed. Yeah, wow, he repeated sarcastically. <laughs> the monster blood. It's grown again. I know he's not being sarcastic. So no, it's fine. fine. Look, it's almost filled this big bucket. What are we going to do? <laughs> what do you mean we, Andy teased, leading him into the den? Not funny, he muttered. You didn't want to share it, she insisted. I'll share it now, he said eagerly. In fact, do you want it? What are you doing? Are you uh, Delilah's a let, letting me pet the shit Aww. out of her. Aww. Delilah! So it's decided, there all you your go. cats love me, get a two-bedroom place and I'll move it. <laughs> hey, we lived in that basement for years. If we yeah, could do it, you could stairwell. do it. I, I can't do that stairwell. It was terrifying. <clears throat> Just put a ramp in there. Uh, uh, what, 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 where we'll did you, you leave those, off? We, we'll get one of those old people. Oh, chairs yeah, that go down oh, the like, silver bullet. <laughs> we could just we could tie like a rope down and you can just like kind of pull yourself up with the Second rope. Second page. <laughs> this one. <Yeah>. Okay. <clears throat> Don't you want it? <clears throat> we'll get a fireman pole. Fireman pole. <laughs> he That's held 25. the bucket toward her. <laughs> uh and okay. Uh uh-uh. uh. Andy shook her <laughs> Andy shook her head, crossing her arms in front of her chest. Put it down, will you? <laughs> She pointed to the corner behind the red leather couch. Put it over there. It's giving me the creeps. <laughs> giving you the creeps? Evan cried. <laughs> what am I going to do? Every time I turn around, it grows some more. It's growing faster than Trigger. <laughs> hey, they both cried at once. I can't do both voices. Here, I'll do okay. Andy and you do Evan, right? Okay. One, two, three. Hey! hey! That's Both good. had the same thought, the same frightening memory. Both suddenly remembered that Trigger had eaten a ball of the green gunk. He forgot? Yeah. What? They're dumb kids. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you think... Evan started. <laughs> Maybe, dot, 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 Andy replied, not <laughs> waiting for him to finish his thought. <laughs> Maybe Trigger's growing because he ate the monster blood. You just said that. Are you fucking... You just thought of that? <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Come on. What am I gonna do? Evan wailed, pacing the room nervously, his hands shoved into his jeans pockets. (laughs) So fucking shitty. (laughs) (laughs) The stuff is getting bigger and bigger, and so is poor Trigger. That rhymed. (laughs) Hey. I'm all alone here. There's no one who can help me. No one. Certainly not the aunt. Certainly not your witch aunt. It's just getting asked by Andy. (laughs) What about your aunt? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Andy suggested, staring at the bucket on the floor in the corner. Maybe Catherine can think of something. <laughs> Are you kidding? She can't even hear me. She doesn't want to hear me. She hates me. She just sits at her jigsaw puzzle and argues with that horrible black cat all day. <laughs> God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, forget the ant, Andy said, making a dispirited face. Perhaps if you told Dr. Forrest... Oh, yeah, for sure, Evan snapped. He'd really believe that Trigger is turning into a giant because I let him eat monster blood. He threw himself down the couch. Huh. I'm all alone here, Andy. There's no one to help me. No one I can even talk to about this. Everything's the worst. (laughs) Except me. (laughs) Yeah. Do me now. Yeah, he said, locking his eyes on hers. Except you. Let the girl on okay Cupid just love me. Do you think I'm pretty? <laughs> she plopped down on the other end of the couch, sending Andy flying because he's a weakling. Well, what can I do? He asked hesitantly. She asked hesitantly. Well, what can I do? She asked hesitantly. He jumped up and carried the bucket over. Take some of this. Let's split it up. Huh? Why don't we just toss it in the trash? She asked, staring down at it. The green gunk was pushing up near the top of the bucket, actively. Toss it! We can't, he said. Sure we can. Come on, I'll show you. She reached for the bucket handle, but he shoved it out of her reach. What if it outgrows the trash can? He asked. What if it just keeps growing? Oh my god. Andy shrugged. I I Uh don't know. Also, I have to save it. Evan continued excitedly. If it's really the thing that's causing Trigger to grow, I'll need it as proof, you know, to show the doctors or whatever. Even though you just said you won't take it to the fucking doctor. So they can cure Trigger. I thought he already took him to the doctor. I don't know. Maybe we should call the police, Andy said thoughtfully, <laughs> tugging at a strand of hair. Oh, sure, Evan replied, rolling his eyes. Evan They'll is... really believe us, for sure. Evan is shitty. We bought this stuff in a toy store, officer, and now it's growing bigger and bigger, and it's turning my dog into a giant monster. 
Okay, okay, you're right, Andy said. We can't call the police. When you put it like that. So you're going to help me, Evan demanded. Will you take some of the stuff? How is that helping? D taking some of the monster blood yeah. is fixing all your problems. Just split it up and then it'll grow Just back into its original size. Being sarcastic and pawning it off on Andy. Just give it back to the old man. I guess, she said the reluctantly. old man. But just a little. She climbed to her feet, carefully stepping around the bucket. I'll be back. She left the room, then quickly returned, carrying an empty coffee can. Fill her up, she said, smiling. Gilp, gilp, gilp. Evan stared at the coffee can. That's all you're going to take, he complained. Then he immediately softened his tone. Okay, okay, it's a help. Andy crouched down and dipped the coffee can into the middle of the bucket. Hey! She cried out. Her hands flew up and she tumbled back onto the floor. What's wrong? Evan hurried over to her. It was pulling the coffee can in, she said, her features tight with fear and surprise. What? Sucking it. Look. Ew. Gross. Alright. <clears throat> Sucking on Page the can. 80. <laughs> And on the can. Evan peered into the bucket. The coffee can had disappeared under the surface. Ew. Huh? Glorp. <laughs> I could feel it pulling, Andy said shakily. <laughs> she regained her perch over the bucket. Her perch? What the fuck? She was going to poop in it. Let's see. <laughs> Is Evan that said. what you think when you're pooping? That you're perching? I'm perching. Are you well, perching? I, yeah, I never put my butt on the toilet. I, I just like I, your feet are on the sink. He I, my, no, my feet are on the, on the toilet. I perch. Like a bird. That's actually the way you're supposed to poop. <laughs> Look it up. Look it up. Is that you're how they teach you to poop in Catholic school? Are you school? being serious? I am being serious. Oh. The, the way... I don't believe them. The way you're... The way you're, des the way you're the, designed. The way everything's built The way you're there, designed to poop. It's... You're you're supposed to have your knees up to your chest. So you're supposed to poop on the ground? Yeah. Like, you that's the way everyone? our bodies are designed. Intelligent design, If you want to do it the way you're supposed to do it, Put your feet on the toilet yep. <laughs> and perch like a bird. <laughs> yep. In other countries, there are toilets like that. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> Let's see, Evan said, and plunged both hands into the middle of the monster blood. Still up, Yuck. Oh Andy my god, said, I hope This it is sucks really gross. In. It's pulling! You're right, Evan agreed. <laughs> it feels like it's pulling my hands down. Wow, Rick! It's so warm! <laughs> as if it's alive! Don't say that, Andy cried with a shudder. Just get the can out, okay? Evan had to tug hard, but he managed to pull up the coffee can, filled to the top with the quivering green substance. Yuck! <laughs> you sure I have to take this, Andy asked, not reaching for it, even though he was holding it out to her. We need to buy Gak. Oh my god, we need to buy Gak before Every this episode. is over. <laughs> Just for a little while, he said, till we think of a better plan. Maybe we could feed it to the Baber twins, Andy suggested, <laughs> finally taking the can. But then, then they'd be bigger than you. <laughs> Even not, bigger than I'm they already are. You guys are stupid. <laughs> then we'd have giant Baber twins, Evan <laughs> joked. No thank you. Seriously, you'd better watch out for them, Andy warned. If but Trigger seriously. scared them away this morning, they'll be looking to get back at you. They really think they're tough dudes. Because they have Evan. no parental guidance whatsoever, and they're they, literally allowed to do whatever they want. They can be vicious. They could really hurt you. God. Thanks for trying to cheer me up, Rick, Evan said, <laughs> glumly. It's me. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Me. I was being Sorry. On, I'm guys. used to the counterclockwise rotation. He was still pulling tiny clinging clumps of the monster blood off of his hands and tossing them into the bucket. <clears throat> Wait. Is this Andy? Okay. I was watching a video before you came over. The first Indiana Jones movie. Awesome. The best one. Want to watch it? Evan shook his head like a fucking idiot. No, I better go. Aunt Catherine was busy making dinner when I left, chopping up some kind of meat. Another great dinner, sitting there in silence, being stared at by Aunt Catherine and her cat. <laughs> Weird. Poor Evan, Andy said, half teasing, half sympathetic, really just wanting to get to watching Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> he picked up the bucket, now only two-thirds full, but getting full again, and let her walk him to the front door. Call me later, okay? No, call me later, okay? <laughs> you never know who's saying. Call me later, okay? She asked. 
He nodded and stepped outside. She closed the door behind him. He was halfway to the sidewalk when the Bamer twins slipped out from behind the evergreen hedge. Just waiting? Their hands balled into red, beefy fists. Ba 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 ba. Below grade level is a Cactus Radio production. You can contact us at podcast at cactusrodeo.com. Subscribe and follow on iTunes, Stitcher, and Spotify, and follow Cactus Rodeo on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for more entertainment and updates.